Samantha accused Megan. I know that she wants everyone in the family to be silent. She shared. Meghan Markle is busy trying to prepare for the birth of her first child. Her evil half-sister, Samantha Grant, has been busy perseverating over Meghan and the entire royal family. But in a new interview, she insists that the bile that she spews time after time doesn't amount to obsession. Late last year, it was reported that Samantha Grant is on Scotland Yard's fixated person's list. Now, in an interview with Dale Mailt, Samantha is saying that she has allegedly learned that this is untrue. Now that I know there is no such thing as that list, Samantha says. I feel relieved. I'm pretty sure my sister knows that I'm not fixated, she shares. But Samantha accuses. I also know that she would prefer that everyone in the family be quiet. If Megan really hopes that her family would start acting like adults instead of whining about her in the media, she shouldn't hold her breath. Dismissing Megan's wishes, Samantha says, that's ridiculous. Samantha says that she'll never bite her tongue because the media talks about us collectively and individually. I absolutely have a say when it comes to setting the record straight, she insists. There are countless people who find themselves discussed in the news or in gossip without feeling a need to respond every single time. Releasing a statement or posting a tweet is usually enough. Relentless media appearances sound more like a fixation but apparently, thinking that makes us nuts. Any suggestion that I am fixated on my sister is crazy, Samantha insists. Stalkers and fixated people track individuals and harass them every day, she notes. She adds that these people constantly show up at their doors and are mentally unstable. In contrast, Samantha has been raging against Meghan in interviews since Meghan's relationship with Harry was just a rumor. That's a little different but you can't just show up at someone's door when they're living in a royal cottage. Samantha says that she wants to clarify to the world that she wasn't some stranger in Meghan's life who just hoped to cash in on Meghan's fame. She is my half-sister, Samantha points out. I am not some strange stepsister. Sure. But she's acting like a stepsister right out of a fairy tale. And, Samantha concludes, most of what I've said in the media has been in defense of our dad. Well, Thomas Markle has said and done a lot of things that Samantha feels need to be defended, we suppose. If young Megan ever dreamt of a fairy tale life, she got it. It's not just that she married a prince and faces adversity her baby is going to have an evil end. If Samantha starts dabbling in sorcery, you have the makings of a Disney movie. But is Samantha right that she's been mischaracterized as both an outsider and as a stalker? She's seen as an outsider because she sounds pathologically envious, and people can't imagine close half-siblings attacking each other like this. Is she a stalker? Not all stalkers or otherwise fixated people appear on doorsteps or show up at someone's place of work. For example, cyber-stalking is when people with fixations track a target, sometimes to harass them and other times without their knowledge. But we don't think that Samantha is actually a stalker, here. She seems vindictive, which is not the same thing. It also seems like she is hooked on the experience of being interviewed, on her words being covered and discussed in articles like this one. That sounds like a trait that she must have inherited from her father. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.